What's up guys, it's Supercar Blondie and I'm testing out the very first Aurus in Switzerland in the mountains. <laughs> Hi! What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Running to get the train. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, showed a bit too much. What? Running to get the train so that we can go pick up the Lamborghini. So that's like literally in a, this little farm town. Look at the cows. I think you made it. Yay! Please subscribe to my channel right now. Boom. Yeah, you ran for that. I ran just so that we could get a Lamborghini today. It's always the same, isn't it? <laughs> I'm always running, running to the train. Because I never, I'm not used to catching them. Yeah. She got stuck? She got stuck. Oh. Didn't make it. Didn't make it. There it is. I'm getting the Aurus here in Zurich. Um, this is very exciting. And you've actually got me what the offer letter now. Okay. Wow. Here's the offer. Oh. Guys. Supercar Blondie. I already put down 10%, right? I gave you the cash. Perfect. You, you saw that, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. okay, good. All right, well, let's go. <laughs> so this one has almost all full options. So okay. standard price or, or minimum price for an Aurus, about 200,000 um, Swiss francs. Just 237,000. 237,000 with tax. We don't like tax. No. Let's go back to Dubai. Yeah, yeah. it's close. To <laughs> well, this is all the options you can get on a Lamborghini Aurus. Look at this. I mean, you're basically buying a car. These, this, all of this costs 237000 Here's a list of all the colours that you can get, either shiny black, titanium matte. We'll show you on the car where these are, but this is right at the front. And the car that we have has this design, so that's pretty cool. And then all of oh, the seatbelt colours as well. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, the stitching over the top. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's really cool. So right. you can just match the stitching onto the colour you want so you know whether or not it goes. That's really cool. Dude, that one with the blue. Yeah, yeah that's, fun. that's nice. Before we do anything, this is really important. Yeah. I'm going to sit in the back of a Lamborghini for the very first time. All right. Because you've never been able to sit in the back of a Lamborghini, no. so let's do no. that. Wow. Ooh. This is really weird. <laughs> It's the first time ever in the back of a Lamborghini. And look at these screens. My God, are these standard? No, oh, no they're huge. They're massive. They look so great. No, these are not standard because the other Aurus doesn't have it in So that's it. Tick. Sat in the back of a Lamborghini. This is the moment. Here's Edited the key. Over. Enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is the Aurus key. All right. In my hot little hands. Thank you guys so, so You're much. Welcome, man. And we'll see you in a few days. Yes, yeah? I'm or cool maybe, maybe never. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment right so these are the three modes you usually get in a Lamborghini Strata, Sport and Corsa and in the Aurus you've got three off-road settings as well so Sabia is uh, sand and then Nev is snow right yep and then Terra is Terra's like earth is earth so yeah to me that looks like earth right yeah. there we're gonna go with earth look at that this literally means it's a private road here and if you enter, it's on your own risk. At your own risk, at your own risk if you enter. You might think, well, yeah, it's an SUV, right? So of course it can get up here. But it'd be safe to say that you would never take any other Lamborghini on this road. <laughs> so this is the first time you can actually take a Lamborghini on a road like this. It's like a super steep field where usually cows just eat. T, how's that going? Huh, look at this, look at this. What? Did you see that? 
Nope. Oh, did it? Emergency brake because you were in my way. It detected yeah. a, someone in front of the car yeah. and it slammed on the brakes. Yeah, because it's got radar. Yeah. And see there it shows how steep. The degree. Degree, yeah. Yeah. The angle. So seven degrees. Well, right now, but before you were like 50 degree. 70 degrees. 70 degree. Definitely. You have to see the view in my, in my side mirror. This is ridiculous. Look at those mountains! This is the new 3D mode in the Aorus. Here's the car. And there's a giant <laughs> cow! <laughs> Look at it! Look at it! It's massive! Look, it's a giant cow. Oh my goodness, that cow could eat this Lamborghini. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. But look at this 3D camera. That is crazy good. I love how high definition these cameras are as well, all these screens. Like this is very impressive. Look at what high definition this is. All of these cameras, front camera, that's pretty cool. That's cool. How's that off-roading going? This feels so wrong. <laughs> it really does. It's like I'm in a Lamborghini, I'm driving through a forest. So this is a V8 bit turbo um, with 650 horsepower and it's the first Lamborghini with turbos which is quite interesting. Every other Lamborghini so far has been naturally aspirated. What I love about the Urus is all the new tech, all these different features right you get with it. So we're going to start at the back. There you go. Now if you're out in the desert, because it has a desert mode, and someone else is stuck in the sand. Look at this. This is cool. Yeah. There we go. You can be towed by a Lamborghini. That'd be an experience. Now, if you want to put stuff in the back, it's going to make it a lot easier if the car is lower to the ground. So, Agree. if you press this one. That's quite a lot lower, isn't it? Yeah. So you can easily put bags and luggage in the back now. Totally. And then you don't have to put it up again manually. Just as you drive off, it will automatically go up. There's so much here to show you, honestly. I'm so impressed with all the tech. So I'll just turn it on. Start, stop button. Yes. Now you can obviously you put it in you can put it in Corsa if you want some sound, open up the exhaust. Hear an immediate difference. So this is Strata. This is Sport. This is Corsa. Very cool. This is all touch screen. And they've kind of made it like an iPhone in that when you press it, it makes the click noise, so it feels like you're pressing an actual button. You hear that? This is super easy to use as well. You can just either use your fingers up and down for the temperature or click up and down. It's all very, very well laid out in my opinion. I think it's really easy to use. What I love is finally a car has, or a supercar, let's put it that way, has an inbuilt wireless charging system for your phone. Finally, right? So it's here. You just pop your phone here. Who has a phone? Let's do oh, this. Yeah. So we'll just pop that here. It will say your mobile is charging. And every supercar should have that feature. I love it. The key finally has somewhere to go. It has a place in the car. Here is the key slot, which seems like a stupid little thing, but honestly is super, super handy because then you always know where the key is. Temperatur. Welche Temperatur soll eingestellt werden? 18 Grad. Könnten Sie das noch einmal wiederholen? 18 Grad. 
Ich reduziere die Temperatur auf 18 Grad. Yay! Yeah, look, look! Hey, Jane! We do it this way and then we do search. This turns into a screen where you can actually write. So where do we want to go? Let's go to burn. Right. Burn. Burn. I was talking to Stefano, the CEO of Lamborghini, earlier this year, and he was taking me through the Aurus, and he was talking about how they're looking to bring in a new crowd of people for this car. Guys, we are with the Aurus right behind me, but you won't believe who else I'm here with. The CEO of Lamborghini himself, Stefano. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much for you. It's such a pleasure. You told me yesterday that this is actually going to be your new baby. Is that right? That's absolutely true. And I think it's a beautiful baby because it's a, this car has different soul because you can be smooth when you're using it in the city. Yes. You can be more enjoying use of it when you're on the track. Right. You can push it. So you, this is actually something you would like to take on the track as well? Absolutely. As the it's okay. 150 horsepower. Yeah. It's really a super sport car. So I have a question for you about yeah. the SUV line yeah. of Lamborghini. A lot of people don't really understand the direction that you are taking. So to those people who don't really understand, what would you like them to know? Very simple. First yeah. of all, this is a super sport car. Yeah. In a different dressing, if right. I may say. So the DNA of the car is a pure Lamborghini. You can recognize from the line, you can, but of course, what is good for this car that you can have uh, fun with the family or friends. Yeah. But you can really feel. So it's a Lamborghini. for once, when you have family visiting you somewhere, you can pick them up in the absolutely, Lamborghini. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Instead first of time. having two people on the bonnet and two people strapped <laughs> to the seat. Yeah. And also, okay. <laughs> one one very important thing is the boot. It's right. quite. It's you actually good. get space. Uh, yeah. We can load a lot of stuff. That's very important. <laughs> and that's unfortunately with the, with the other cars, that's yeah, not really the case. It's not the possibility. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so just one last question for you. Is this the future of Lamborghini? Are we going to see a lot more SUVs come out, do you think? I think that first of all, for us, the objective is to stay focused with the Super Sport car. This is an extension for our portfolio, right. no doubt about it. But the focus has to be on the on value the of our brand okay. that is super sport yeah. that's the future and that's our mission well hopefully one day i'll be behind the wheel of the aurus and actually picking you up from the airport i'm looking day. forward for in you Dubai. to drive this car because at the end of the day you see this is another way to have more women in our world yes i was and going this is to very say important. and if you see for example today that we have launched the huracan performante spider yes. in the video there was a woman that was driving oh yes so we are good. changing that is a, is, is a philosophy that Lamborghini has to change because we feel that the brand is really for women too. I want to hear the Corsa mode so we can hear the engine what that B2 um, actually sounds like. Oh, very quiet. Okay, and now Corsa. A bit of a crackle yeah it's just you can tell it's not a it's V10. not the crackle of an aventador or a hurricane no. but it's still got crackle but it could be <laughs> so lamborghini please please come out with a v12 or v10 nat naturally aspirated one yeah that thank you <laughs> thank you the Bundes house. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out the parliament building. There is like the old stock, which is really pretty. Old stock. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of you think that I'm Swiss. I'm not actually Swiss. I'm Aussie. But I lived in Switzerland in Bern for a year, 15 years ago, so I can speak a oh, oh, Schweizer Deutsch. Stop beeping me. You want me to drive faster? There you go, you idiot. <laughs> Don't beep a Lamborghini. You know what I 
like about this car, you can fly undercover, but still drive a Lamborghini through burn, and you're not going to get egged. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice actually. I love the reactions as we drive through Bern. Right at the last second as you're driving by, people realize it's a Lamborghini and start tapping each other. Like, <laughs> what is this? This is the deep clock um, in Oldstadt Bern. Yeah. And it's a very, very, very well known clock. It's been around for how long? Hundreds uh, and hundreds, hundreds of, years. of years. And this is where all the tourists come, as you can see. <laughs> That's where Einstein lived. How cool! Just show the building up there. That's okay. actually where he was. That's pretty damn cool. So now you're about to pull up at the Bundeshof. Yeah, the parliament building. This yeah. is the government house in Bern in Switzerland. Wow. Right here. That's it. I hope you liked the video, please like it, like it, like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please do. Love you guys so much. Have an awesome one. See you next time.